how long can we hold world champion pace? Tom Peacock has been multiple time world champion. He's a phenomenal climber. And he currently holds the fastest time, according to Strava, up the Sacalobra climb, which is a beautiful 9.4 kilometers of climb here on the island of Mallorca. Neither of us are world champions. Question is, how long can we ride at his pace before we explode and get dropped? Pidcock Strava KOM is an astonishing 22.46 on the 9.4 kilometer climb, which averages 7%. He's nearly two minutes quicker than the next fastest rider and averaged 24.9 kilometers per hour, which is faster than many amateur cyclists manage on flat terrain. My best time is 31 minutes and 59 seconds. And mine is 29.33. Although both of our times are pretty good, yeah. I think they're nothing on Tom Pidcock. The way we're going to do it is we've got Tom Pidcock's KOM ride in on our Wahoos yeah. as a Strava virtual segment, which means that we can ride with that as a pace partner. This is really good because it means that, well, it's how he rode the climb. When yeah. he went, you know, a bit slower because it was steeper, it'll back off a bit. And so we've, we can see. We've got the chance to actually try to replicate it rather than use a bit of guesswork, yeah. which is cool. And then, um, well, when we're dropped, we're dropped. Oh. We're just heading to the start of the segment now where the sign is the start here on the right. I'm going to lap. Good luck. Oh. We're ahead. We're a bit ahead of him, are we? Yeah. Oh. Looks like Pidcock paced his effort as we're ahead of him already. 16. One minute into our effort and things seem to be going well. So well, in fact, that we appear to be ahead. Are you sure it's not your time? And just like all things in life that seem too good to be true, this was too. It turns out I'm a total idiot and had my head unit pace in us against my PR and not the KOM. With that fixed, it was panic stations as we were in fact behind KOM pace. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're behind. <laughs> How far behind? 10 at the moment. Let's send it. <laughs> Even though we were just over 10 seconds behind, we were holding and matching Tom's pace. It was taking me close to 500 watts to sustain our speed, which is absolutely mind-blowing. We're holding. We're holding the same gap. We're dropping behind. We're dropping behind more. More. 18 seconds behind. 20. 21 seconds behind. Oh. Hang in there, come on. We're done. 22 seconds. I'm done. 23. Ah. Three minutes, 32. Ah. Ah. Oh. We're done. We lasted about three, three minutes. minutes. Yo. What we're gonna do, let's recover. Yeah. And let's just, let's just try set PBs for us. Yeah. Uh, That's our not, only hope. How not to pace a hill climb. I don't, I was over 400 watts. It was more like 450 for me. Yeah. 
With that ridiculous effort done, we still wanted more, so set off with our sights on new personal records. That is how not to pace a hill climb. Go as hard as you can for three minutes and then cling on for 27. That was a stupid idea. Ah, I've that, saved it. That's the most horrible thing I've done. Mm. Oh, that's oh, so nice. Oh yeah. Well, we've come back so we can get phone signal to the peace and serenity of the uh, Zafiro Palace Hotel in Arcudia, where, and a we're, shower. where we're staying. Well, you've had a shower. I've been waiting. <laughs> I... Jesus, unbelievable. I'm waiting here That's so right. I can have a shower. Um, anyway, shall we run through the results and discuss how subpar our performances were? Well, we missed... Where well, I managed to check up 30 minutes, 40 seconds is what I, what I did. For you, the whole climb? Yeah. You were oh. 30, 43, so I beat you. Yes. Anyway... In terms of Pidcock, he did 380 watts, which at 58, watt, 58 kilograms as his weight, works out at 6.5 watts per kilo, which is huge. I mean, if you can do six watts per kilo for around 20 to 30 minutes, you're considered good enough to uh, potentially win the Tour de France. 6.5 like watts per kilo for 20 minutes, I would have to do 500 watts. Mm. Well, well we've, we've literally proved that I can do that for best part of what? three minutes, 10 seconds that well, we managed to sustain the pace. The interesting thing is, is 6.5 watts per kilo is what I managed to do. Um, well, we managed to do. Yeah. I, that was what I was doing, uh, which is about 450 watts for me, which we managed for thir three minutes, 10 seconds, roughly. <laughs> That's absolutely pathetic. And then we got dropped and the time gap just went exploded out because he just carried on going at that pace. It's honestly unbelievable. It does put it into perspective the huge difference of like performance between someone that's at the absolute top of their game and the sport and then us. Which I'm going to say we're like good amateur riders these days. We're like we're above average. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> well, like, I mean, like, <laughs> I'll take it. But I mean, you know, weighed myself this morning around sort of 69 kilos. It's... Yeah, well, I'm quite pleased with that effort, but it's it's nowhere, nowhere near. So what we what we've come to take away from this little experiment is that we should probably not get our hopes up for the tour next year. No, and <laughs> if you are going to go and take on a big epic climb, don't go as hard as you can at the bottom of it because you will massively pay for it. And I think it's a lesson in pacing. I was actually really devastated at the top because in my mind, it was a really nice marker to go sub 30 minutes and join the club that you're in as well. Yeah. But um, it turns out we didn't. I have to go back. And pace it properly. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see Alex go back and try that at some point, Come on. then um, and have, a, have a big throw down with Cy and Hank. We should probably just do a presenter race there. Why don't we just do a race there? Right, okay. How many likes uh, does this video yeah. need? <laughs> <laughs> if this video gets 20,000 likes. We'll get I'm everyone there. Let's go do a presenter race, Sakalobra. I don't, Throw got, down. I don't think we've got a sign off Throw on this. Throw down. All right, well, anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. It was a bit of fun. We certainly had fun making it. Please do let us know in the comments section down below what your rate of our performance is. And also, get your guesses in on how long you reckon you could sustain that kind of power for. And, um, well, wow, it's six, a bit of fun, six isn't it? Six and a half watts per kilo. <laughs> you can do the maths. Right, we're out of here. I would say I've got to go have a shower, but I'm done, clean, ready to go. You stink. Bye. <laughs> oh, actually, by the way, we've just looked on Strava to see how we rank on Sakalobra today only. Yeah? Yeah. I'm first, and you're second out of 154 people. How am I second? You were three sec. I dropped you at the end, three seconds. <laughs> Strava doesn't lie. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs>